have an especially high level of conviction, positive or negative, about strategies or themes? We think the whole infrastructure around crypto is really interesting. Um, and, and, you know, we've been making some investments into that infrastructure. And, um, and, and we think that is at an inflection point. I'd say it's, it's everything from kind of uh, exchange asset managers, custodians, to the mundane like tax reporting on your, on, on your crypto gains, um, you know, and everything in between. Um, but I, we, think, we think that's interesting. So f when it comes to crypto generally, I think um, there, there are some, some, some important, we're at a really important moment in time in that something like Bitcoin might have stayed a fringe asset, but for the fact that, you know, over the last 12 months, we've increased money supply in the U.S. by 25%. So there's a real fear of debasing of fiat currencies. Um, and, and when you think about Bitcoin, I don't think it's a currency. I think it's a commodity, but it's a commodity that's easily storable. It's easily transferable. It is, the IRS classifies it as a physical asset. It has a finite amount of supply, and that supply halves every four years. Um, so so I, think it's, I think it's interesting. And I think, by the way, when you look at gold price action in the context of a, a, a fairly robust inflation narrative of late, it's struggled getting traction. And I think that's because Bitcoin is taking um, some, some of its buyer base away. Do you own any Bitcoin? I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> that is what I would call a mysterious response. Um, but I, I will say, when, the one thing also when you think about Bitcoin is central bank digital currencies are going to be here, I think, quicker than people expect. You know, China's been running their, their, their um, trial for a while now. And I think there's some strategic reasons why they are going to be a first mover. And I do think from a geopolitical perspective, they want to use that digital, digital currency to, um, they, they want that to be used around the world. And it is a potential threat to other Bitcoin and other crypto. I was just going to say, does that legitimize Bitcoin or does it delegitimize Bitcoin? So I think it, it is a real, threat, but I think it will be temporary. I don't think they'll be successful in, um, in permanently destabilizing Bitcoin.